Hello, Wolfpack. I've got a few things to talk about uh, today in relation to Bitcoin and the daily chart on the hour chart and also the DXY and pre-recession market pumps. Uh, we see this quite often uh, in financial markets before a recession. For those of you who don't know, uh, the yield curves, I know there's a few of them, but the yield curves in general are starting to invert. And that is generally a great trigger and a very reliable trigger that a recession is coming. I mean, if it wasn't so obvious already, right? Uh, very, very obvious a recession is on the way. Federal Reserve is claiming they're going to raise interest rates even higher. I talk about every video now. It's ridiculously boring to talk about, repeat over and over again. But essentially, a recession is very, very likely. If you don't know why, you know, I encourage you to go check out my previous video on interest rates. I did it a couple of weeks ago. It will explain all of that. Um, but there are more indicators coming in as per interest, uh, as per yield curves uh, coming in to suggest that a recession is coming. Uh, and what we can say is that generally speaking, if we're looking at something like the SPX, and we'll bring it back into Bitcoin soon, looking at something like the SPX before a recession historically, and again, you can go back and check this data for yourself, historically before recessions, about 70 to 80% of the time, we see markets rally to all-time highs, right? In the months leading up to recession, generally when a recession is very obvious to happen in the future. What are we seeing on the SPX right now? A market rally from around 4,100 all the way to 4,600 at the moment in about just over two weeks, okay? Uh, and this is in a time where the market is clearly not bullish. I mean, in macro, it doesn't matter what you think about Bitcoin, you know, put your Bitcoin thoughts aside, pack it in a box for a second. You could agree, and I think 99% of people can agree, the global economic environment right now is not good. And for the SPX to be pumping right now, all it shows is that there is a massive, uh, massive disconnection uh, or 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 a lack of correlation between the economic situation and the economy and uh, the traditional markets, okay? So that, that's the difference that's happening right now. And eventually that needs to be corrected and put back into place, right? And we're seeing these markets pump irrationally. Uh, we've seen it all the way up uh, and now we've seen a big crash. And now we're seeing one final pump, in my personal opinion, before we see that recession as interest rates continue to increase into May. And this pump, this pre-recession pump, could lead Bitcoin to break out to the upside, okay? It could do that. Uh, and, and there's no denying that. The only problem is it's very, very hard to predict, right? That's the thing about this market in the next couple of weeks. There's really no way we can confidently make any kind of predictions because it's driven so much by manipulation. It's driven so much by a shift in the narrative that the price action and the TA, uh, although it still works, it's hard to kind of get accurate uh, examples of probabilities, right? So when I look at this pattern, what do I think? I mean, immediately, my first instinct as a trader is to think this is one big bear flag formation, right? Which is very bearish, and it assumes that we're going to be breaking down massively, okay? I don't think we're going to 5k. I've never said we're going to 5k. That is what the bear flag suggests. I don't think that's going to happen, though. But the point is, it's very clear the direction is downwards according to the structure. Now, even if you said this wasn't a bear flag, even if you took away all of this stuff up here, you took away all of this and just looked at the structure itself, it's an ascending triangle formation, an ascending triangle formation is a bearish formation that breaks to the breaks to the downside around 72% of the time, right? 72% of the time. That's not a good odd. That's not a good odd to take. And and generally speaking, I mean, right now when you look at this, we haven't even broke out to the upside yet, and people are bullish, right? And you look at the 200-day SMA, we haven't even broken that. And the 200-day SMA is historically one of the best indicators of a bearish bearish market or bullish market on Bitcoin, right? One of the best indicators. There's no real one takes it all indicator, but it is a very good indicator. When you're above the 200 SMA, 200 day SMA, you're generally very bullish. When you're below it, you're generally pretty bearish. We're still below it. And in fact, not only are we below it, we've seen two separate candles, two separate candles that resemble shooting star formations, okay? Not quite shooting star formations, but they resemble shooting star formations, which by the way, are very bearish candlesticks, which after you see one, break to the downside around 78% of the time. You might wonder, well, how do I know these statistics so you know fluently? Because I'm literally making a trading program right now with Megawell Crypto that goes over a lot of this data. Okay, so we're looking at a 72% chance of breaking the downside from the wedge, from the, from the channel, plus a 78% chance of breaking from the downside from the two recent candles that have come together. You know, adding up, you know, just roughly, that's probably about a 10% chance we break to the upside here, just based off statistics. Then you add in the fact the S&P 500 is pumping massively, you know, that's where it gets complicated. Because the TA right now is incredibly bearish. Let's keep bringing up some indicators here, right? For example, the RSI is reset to levels we have not seen since November. The last time you saw the RSI at these levels was at the all-time high. Therefore... Market sentiment is showing the same sentiment we, uh, not not necessarily, but the RSI sentiment, I'll say, is showing the same levels 
we were at 69k we're at 47k right now that just shows you how low the standards for market participants has come at this point the stochastic rsi has uh topped out it's been topped out for many 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 days uh and in the recent months for bitcoin this has been pretty accurate all right uh it wasn't very accurate here let me just make this uh yellow so you guys can see it wasn't very accurate there it was pretty accurate here it marked the top in september it was pretty accurate here it marked the all-time high it was pretty accurate here as well it marked that recent top we dumped down pretty accurate here dumped down uh pretty accurate here as well we dumped down uh it was relatively accurate during this period here i'll give it a maybe and then it was accurate here we dumped down so yeah we've had like two times out of eight or nine in which it hasn't been too accurate but right now it's you know i mean looking at the previous trend this is a pretty accurate indicator that bitcoin will dump so we've got the rsi looking not too good we've got the stochastic rsi which has topped out massively and then leading on with that we're rejecting from a 200 day sma we're at the top of the channel we haven't broke out yet and the market sentiment has flipped bullish the fear green index is showing bullish greed for the first time in in you know god knows how many months all of all of, all in the meantime we're seeing descending volume on the daily chart right this entire upwards trend i mean this entire one since around 38k has seen descending green volume right which means that progressively they're getting they're, the bullish strength is getting less and less and less the higher we move less people are willing to buy the higher we move and during all of this we have not even broken out of the channel yet and people are flipping bullish right it seems to me that the ta is so overwhelmingly bearish at these price levels on the daily chart right that thinking or, or, or acting as though we're going to break out here is just absolutely ridiculous at least without a retracement what i will say is that it's very hard to be confident because as i just said we're seeing a pre a pre-recession rally on the sp 500 that will most likely take us to all-time highs we're also seeing the dxy starting to correct a little bit which is very bullish for bitcoin this is a reverse correlated chart to bitcoin if it goes up bitcoin goes down if this goes down bitcoin goes up so we're seeing these things happening uh, these two things that i just listed and they're conflicting with the bearish ta on bitcoin but as of right now what i can tell you is that there is no way to look at this chart and tell me that this chart is bullish there's simply no way you can do it you can't do it because it's not a bullish chart i mean break it down to the hourly chart what are we seeing we saw a bullish pennant formation that was looking promising broke to the downside we're coming up we're rejecting okay what does this look very similar to it looks very similar to the november top look at this structure here in november oh i don't know why it's black let me make it yellow again look at the structure here in november and then look at this here uh recently on the hourly chart right the structure is very similar what happened in november well we dumped right very similar formation there now again let me reiterate here because i don't want people to get the wrong impression because people love getting the wrong impression when it comes to my analysis recently okay this does not mean we're going to break down of a downside doesn't mean we're going to crash it means that the charts look terrible okay the fact of the matter is bitcoin is not driven by the charts right now it's driven by the narrative right the only thing is we can't rely on narrative to trade we have to rely on the charts to trade right i'm a technical analyst i'm a technical analyst i don't look at you know the narrative extensively i can't do that because i won't make money what i'm saying right now is the charts look really bad and if you're bullish because of the charts i encourage you to take a look if you're bullish because you know there's a pre uh a pre-recession bull market happening or a pre-recession rally happening in the s p 500 that's a different question but i would say that's very speculative and we don't know how long it's going to go on for what is the best way to react to this market right now it's the way that i've been reacting to the market since 66k right for those of you who don't know and this is just a quick little shout out to the people who've been hating on me recently for those of you who don't know i have been bearish on the market selling my assets since 66k at this red line okay 66k i've been selling since we're at 47k right now we're still 20k below where i started selling all right what i've been doing since that point is short-term scalp trading because i don't trust the market right now right that doesn't mean i haven't been in the market it means i'm short-term scalp trading i'm jumping in i'm jumping out all within usually a day it's intraday trading and so yeah i wouldn't consider that in the market i would consider that scalp trading particularly assets that are very uncorrelated to bitcoin or reverse correlated to, or not necessarily reverse correlated to bitcoin but very um you know lacking that correlation and so bitcoin price movements don't necessarily affect it as much as other assets right that's lower cap coins um and so for people who've been saying well you, you said we shouldn't be trading right now i said the you shouldn't be trading right now the average investor the average person who swing trades or long-term holds so that's not a good place to be buying right now right i still stand by that i don't think the average trader the average investor the average long-term holder the average swing trader should be buying right now because we're below critical resistance okay break the 200 day sma we can talk differently we haven't broken that yet 
Uh, and, you know, originally I said the 50 week was the critical level. It was the critical level. He broke it to the upside. Now the critical level is the 200 day, right? And we're still in this structure. We're still in this structure that I outlined even at 38K, right? So to act like I've suddenly shifted the goalpost and changed my opinion, it's like, yeah, I mean, to a certain extent regarding the 50 week, yeah, I have, but am I not allowed to do that? Am I not allowed to adapt? I'm an analyst, right? I don't just stick by my opinion even when I think it's not correct anymore. Of course I'm going to adapt. That's the whole point of the game. So... I would say the best thing to do right now is sh stick to short-term scalp trading because the long-term direction of the market is very uncertain. The TA is saying dump, the short-term macro is saying pump, but ultimately we don't really know. That's what I'd say. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing a video later tonight or possibly tomorrow regarding the four-year cycle theory. Uh, I've got an updated chart I want to show you. It's very easy to understand rather than the other one, which is very complicated. Uh, and I think a lot of people are going to uh, find this one very compelling. So I'm excited to share that with you guys as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the video uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.